I'm intelligent. Hello and welcome back to another video. This is you by Jay Gaggy. Today, today I'm going to be playing um, um, a random game and I'll have to just find out as much of information about it as possible just by this video. So I'm going to be playing, I don't know, the platform is a good one. I don't know what it is. I have to do it. I had to survive as well that that wasn't my fault uh, and yes yeah, so I, I am pro at this game as you may know oh see you can see there are patterns in this game and with the patterns I want a coin Wee! see I'm pro at this game I told you I was really good <laughs> Okay, um, well, that just came on the screen. That wasn't um, my fault. But, because this is episode 534, I should already be so good at this game by now. And you can see the patterns. Whoa, see? Oh, Oi! Oh! Oh, see, that was lag issues. No, seriously, that was lag issues. Oh, oh. It's not my highest, it's just that it hasn't saved it yet, you know? So, just, the platform game is where you have to try to get as many coins as possible without hitting all those bad stuff, you know? Because, yes, it is... That wasn't my fault, it's just a man didn't want enough fast, fast enough. But, just so you know, you move at an... You move actually pretty fast, considering that's the bounce of the distance. Whee! See, I am pro at this game, guys. You should, if, you, if you're looking, I'm going to give you a tutorial right now. And yeah, you know, um, so if you're looking how to play this game, it's really simple because you just have to jump and keep staying on the barrier. And because I've played this game for so long, I'm going to um, show you uh, what it uses. So this is a JavaScript game. So you don't need Unity to play this game. And why would you? And it looks like it was created by a, a guy called Adam. Well, I can tell because you can see how the name really resembles the game. Uh, Adam Wardle, I think. Yeah, Adam Wardle is the guy who created this game. And he is an excellent developer. Uh, because he's really good at making these type of games. Haha, <laughs> very funny. He is a very good developer, I'm pretty sure, because he were, he's making a game of addicting games, and this is in the random game category, so it is a totally random game, um, and it's a pretty good game because most people like it because of the amount of, uh, let me just peep, l likings it got, and people so like it because it's got a 60%, well, 81, 87% something, and it's available to play on Addicting Games, which is a very good gaming website. Because of this game, I've been inspired to make my own game. Well, I haven't been inspired by this game. But this game is 534, and so many of us are still playing it. It didn't even hit there. I didn't even see it hit. But, yeah, it... I am so good at this game, and I know every single thing about it. You see, the mountain backdrop was inspired by the Himalayas, and um, the little forest. You see, yeah, 
and you're just really in this empty, I guess. Thing. And notice how the clouds are moving. Yes, because he wanted to show off his JavaScript skills. He's making the clouds move. Wee! And look at how. Look at. See, it's so. It's even so smooth because of the minimalist pixelated graphics it has to offer. Oh, I bounced on it. <laughs> see, you can even bounce on it, and you can get near misses. And you see, 210. And notice how it's always in a, a multiple of 5. Because every time you miss it, you get 5 points. So it has to be a multiple of 5. There's no way. Because if it's no multiple of 5, then you're just defying physics in the game. And I, I really like this game. You know, like, because I've played it for so long and I still really like this game. This is episode 534. And I'm professional at this game. And of course there's lag issues with my computer because I haven't upgraded since episode 300. But I still consider myself to be very good at this game. And see how I just walked? Well, I, well that was... I can tweet that. See, and you can even... and you could, Because he was so good with JavaScript, he actually made it so you could share this on social media. Including Twitter. And he made his own costume Twitter button. You see? And look at all these many options down there. That's because Adam Water wanted to show off as many features as possible. What is so cool is, is the graphics. They're just so pixelated. And even the guy when he falls off. See, it's now let's go to the menu. And let's go on um, survival. Let's go on... Why is it locked? Oh, it is locked because I'm not very good at this. So. Just so you know, another fun fact is that the numbers, those up there, the, the school over there, is a variable. And this variable stores your high school, if you have a high school. Which is really cool because he is an excellent person when it comes to JavaScript. You control the keys by using WASD or the arrow keys and personally I like the arrow keys better I don't know why but I don't mind WASD I'm totally fine with that see I can you can also forward jump I jumped there I press the arrow key there so you see unfortunately some things about this game is that its responsiveness isn't always the best but it's kind of like a flappy bird in my in my opinion and if you fall off you also die so don't fall off you see how the clouds are respawn differently each time you play see just first there even on the menu screen it's always going to be floaty and it's always going to be a different cloud which i find is really cool for this game give me that coin and that was a knockout and you know i know so much about this game you also have a time limit you see you have to try to survive for as long as possible once the clock finishes, then afterwards, ugh. you know what about this game is super cool to me? Well, I think what's super cool is about, see, if you're facing this way, the man faces that way. But if you're facing this way, the man faces that way. You see, that's what's so cool about this game. And you know how it shot me in the head and he falls back. And that is so cool. And he, that, the, J, the uh, JavaScript guy, he was so good. Because this is made out of JavaScript. You know, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, um, back to the game. This game has been inspired by these numerous game shows where you have to stay in the house or like Big Brother. Where you have to stay in the house for as long as possible or something like that. That's what this game was inspired by when Adam Wardle made this game. And I totally did not look at the description to see if Adam Wardle was the creator of this game. That was totally just guess. And I was what? And, yeah, it's inspired by that. You can also change the music, you know, because that's real cool. I have 22.
this is and you know all of these so what over here is a hard hat to protect you from that a shield to protect you from missiles these boots to protect you from blades this skateboard for protecting you um 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 from really bad stuff and this magnet is going to help you get um coins and this neo glasses lets you to have slog a slow motion and i'm going to spend it okay let's play so yes yeah, so now i have leo glasses which let me have a quicker reaction time or not these just what do they do well actually what do they do that is the question it lets you slow down time if i press um a button and but because i'm not going to press that button right now because that would just be a waste and you know how much i am very stingy about my things and of course you see the neo glasses was in action as the frame rate dropped that's the magical thing about neo glasses <laughs> that's how they work now you could just waddle like this randomly and it will still work because of a new randomizing texture and it still get a pretty decent score because of this thing called the adrian paradox where if you go random you're not as likely to hit it as long as the ratio is um is the same all the time see one drops see you have a one out of um something chance like a one out of 30 chance of hitting it if you keep doing that of course you need to jump so that really that lowers the chance but it's called the engine paradox and yeah it's cool another cool thing about this is the frame rate drops you can immediately lower the frame rate by going crazy and do you know how you do that you go like this you just tap all the keys Another really cool feature is if you just tap enter while it's highlighted, it will play for you. And what I'm going to do is what you can do with WASD is you can make everything cool. So you can duck, 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 duck. And the thing with ducking is it's much more use and effective, useful and effective against things like missiles. And I'm afraid that is it for today's I'm Intelligent. Thanks for watching. This is Jade Stream and Gaming. Make sure if you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment in what more think games you'd like to see me try in I'm Intelligent. I'm Intelligent Episode 1, the platform game. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.